Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you, teacher? Good How evening. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. And you? Great, teacher. Wonderful. Oh, excellent. A little bit tired, but it's okay. I'm happy too. Ah, okay. What about you? Be happy is very important. Right. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy too because God gave me the life. The better one. Yeah. Yes. And give me a give me a job. Yeah, and the family. Yeah. Yes. And we have everything that we need. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's true. true. Yeah. True. It's, it's very important. Yes. yes. And how was your weekend? Is the time to start. How was your weekend, Asario? Oh my it was what funny. It was okay. Okay. And yeah, I take a rest on Saturday and Sundays too. But it was so, it was so um, quiet. Quiet. Nothing oh. important. Nothing important. Okay. Past on weekend. Can you tell yeah. me but what is Monday, the? It was really busy. Ah, okay. Yeah. Can you tell me what is the is take in present and in past? What is what Ik. is the past of took? Took. About, yes. Yeah. And then I took a rest. Yeah, I took a rest. Uh -huh. I, I took, took a rest. rest. Yes, I took yeah. a rest. Yo tomé un descanso. A long, okay. a long rest. I think oh. so. Yeah, a long rest. Okay. But but today it was really really busy. Did you go to bed yesterday in the afternoon? No, I couldn't. No. Ah, okay. No, I couldn't because <laughs> I was I was watching I was watching television. Oh. But I don't but I don't forget the homework. Ah, I don't forget it's the homework. Okay. Yeah. And then can you tell me yo vi televisión ayer? Uh, I watched television. Watched television. I watched television. I watched yes. television yesterday. Excellent. Yeah. Now today well, I was watching the birds. I discharged mm -hmm. the birth of the the list that you sent, and I have today in my desk, just right okay. now. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Now, excellent. What yeah. about Luis Chavez? How are you, Luisito? Luis Chavez? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, how was your weekend? Um, more or less. Um, I, I had a uh, uh, more or less hard. Okay. Uh, I I can't uh, uh, to the God the word um, little hard. Little hard. Yes. Okay. What activities did you do during the day? <clears throat> today. Yeah. For the winking. No, today. Today. Yes. Oh. Um, um uh, I go to the ward um uh, nets uh, mm, mm, uh, sli uh, dormir uh, sleep sleep no, slept slept uh, in past I slept in the afternoon for example I slept in the in the afternoon I slept uh, in the afternoon yo dormí en la tarde en la tarde correcto yes okay excellent Thank you. And then you are happy. Yes, it's very important. And what about Luis Montano? How are you, Luisito? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Como esta? How are you? Um, very good. Very good. Oh, yes. how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? Um, digo, very good. Uh, my family, my um, disfrut, 
disfruté mi familia. I enjoyed I am, to my family. I, I enjoyed my family. I am from Zacatecoluca City. Um, you went. You went. Eh, I went to Zacatecoluca. Yo fui a Zacatecoluca. Yes. Uh, oh. Me tocó descanso. I, I took a rest. I took a rest. Yo tomé un descanso. I took a rest. Oh, it's my free, it was my free, my free time. Fue mi día libre. My free day. My free time. Mi día libre, mi tiempo libre. My free day. Ok. Uh, I am uh, soccer. I played soccer. Um, ayer. Um, yesterday. yesterday. I played, I played soccer yesterday yes um hoy eh, eh, my my friends um, yeah. soccer play soccer mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, they, it's mo monday i am travel rights as uh, sacateculuca city uh son zonas son sonate sí. ¿Va last Monday o today? Um, Monday. Yes, today is Monday. Yes. Ah, ok. Excellent. I am, I am travel right. Ok, excelente, Luisito. Vaya. Today we continue with the verbs, regular and irregular verbs. Como estamos hablando del pasado, vamos a utilizar la lista que les envié. La lista, ahí van los verbos en, en pasado, los irregulares y los irregulares. Can you tell me what, what, are, what are the regular verbs? What is the difference? The regular verbs and irregular verbs. What is the difference? Los verbos regulares y los irregulares, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Que los regulares le agregamos ed. Y los irregulares cambian, cambian su forma con algunas excepciones, ¿verdad? Que esas, las, algunas excepciones que no, por ejemplo, could, put, esas no cambian. Pero los, los verbos regulares son los, a los que le agregamos la ed. Now, the first thing that you need to know is that they are actually, there are actually three different ways to pronounce the ed at the end of a past tense verb. Is, is the third thing. Okay. Do you remember this information, this exercise? Did you remember yes, this exercise? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay, aquí vimos cómo cambia. This is the verb in present, here. Right. They are verbs in present, and they are verbs in past. In past. In past. For example, study. Estudiar. Last weekend, Carol studied her book. Studied. Last weekend, el fin de semana pasado. Next, clean. Clean is the verb in present. Right. Last weekend, Carol cleaned, cleaned the kitchen. La semana pasada, Carol limpió la cocina. Limpió. It's in past. If you see this part, we always add ed at the end of the verb. Ed. Yeah, clean, cleaned, cleaned. The difference is that is our pronunciation. Okay, let me see. Okay, the pronunciations about simple past ed endings. Todos los verbos regulares le agregamos la ed. La diferencia es cómo lo vamos a pronunciar. En la lista que les envié, ahí va aparte, ¿cuáles van con el sonido? 
que es este? El D, cleaned, las cleaned. D, entil, invited, invited o invited, till. ¿Ya? Estos son las formas de pronunciarlo, es la pronunciation. Now, I we have, here we have this important information. Pronunciation rules for regular verbs in the past tense. First one, if the verbs end in t or d, the past simple ending is pronounced i d, till, like till, till, till. Example, wanted and ended. Si aquí solamente decimos want, what is the meaning of want? Only Querer. this. Querer o desear. Want. What happened if we add ed? What happened? Ise. Is the past. Ise, because it's the past. Because at the end, we add ed. Now, what is the meaning of end? End. Terminar, finalizar. Terminar o finalizar. What happened if we add ed? Finalizó. Finalizó, because it's in past. Ay. Second one. If the verb ends in a voiceless sound, such as P, F, S, Sh, T, or K, con acá, K, Work, work, as I work, with K. The past simple endings is pronounced t, ¿ya? T, t. Se escucha interferencia, no sé quién tiene interferencia. Para que pongan en el en mute, el, ¿ok? Now, the past simple ending is pronounced t, like t, t. Now, For example, stopped and washed, stopped and washed. Number three, if the verb ends in another voice sounds, the past simple endings is pronounced D, like played, play and played, allowed and allowed. Allowed and allowed, because this is a uh, different, different sounds. Aquí miren play termina como en la i, verdad? Si decimos play, play es otro tipo de sonido. Entonces acá va termina con y, o sea, vamos a agregar la pronunciación va a ser y. Played, played, allowed, allowed, allowed. Termina con D. What is the meaning of voice? Sonar, voice. sonido. Yes, voice es sonoro. ¿Qué significa? Y aquí tenemos voiceless. You see? Voiceless. What is the meaning of voiceless? Sin sonido. Sin voz. Voiceless es sin voz. ¿Qué significa? Que si yo hago esto... Pongan su manita aquí. Quiero ver la, las cámaras acti activas, please. Active your camera, please. Ok. Pongan acá sus dedos acá. Acá, miren. Los caballeros aquí, los que tienen en la, en la manzanita de Adán, que le dicen aquí asaltadito. Si ustedes pronuncian eso, digan, digan, wanted. 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 ¿Sienten vibración o no? No. En sus dedos, wanted. 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 Se a siente vibration. Bit. A little. A little bit. End. 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 Se siente vibración. Pónganselo bien. Digan, wanted. Wanted. End. 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 Siente la vibration, ¿verdad que sí? <laughs> ¿Ya? Entonces, ¿qué significa? Que lo, eso, eso, tiene vibración 
Entonces, los que tienen vibración son los voice sounds, los sonidos sonoros. Pronunciemos esto. Stop. Pónganselo otra vez. Again, please. Stop. 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 ¿Siente vibración o no? Stop. ¿Verdad que no? Ahí no se siente vibración. Washed. 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 ¿Verdad que no hay vibración? Entonces, como no hay vibración, se llama voice, le sound. Es una pronunciación sin, sí. sin vibración, ¿verdad? Entonces, a eso se refiere el voiceless y el voice. ¿Ya? Que son los sonidos, eh, los, que, los que se vibran y los que no vibran. En other words. This one, played. Played. Digan played. 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 ¿Siente vibración o no? Played. 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 Allowed. Yes. Allowed. 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 En allowed, en la W se siente. Allowed. Siente que vibra. Digan played. 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 Siente vibración. Yes. Por eso son voice, voice sound. Son los que vibran. Now. Do you have any questions about this part? This is it's like extra material. This part is like extra material. Si usan okay, después de la so. clase, ahorita le pueden tomar una foto. ¿verdad? Pero esto es para ampliar la información sobre la, la pronunciación. Rules for regular verbs in the past tense. Now. Ok, continue with part. Do you remember the, this part? Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of D. Here we have T. Worked and washed. Cleaned. Stayed, invited, visited. Miren, aquí termina con la ID. Invited, visited. The pronunciation is with, the, with ID o ID. Now, here we have our first exercise. Listen, listen and write. These verbs under the correct sounds. Listen and write these verbs under the correct sounds. What is the meaning of this instruction? Can you tell me, please? What is the meaning? Listen and write. Escucha y escribe. Escucha y escribe. ¿Qué más? Los verbos. Los, los sonidos los correctos. Sonidos correctos sí. The correct sounds. Ok. Now, here. They are all of them verbs. Todos estos son verbos. Ahora, vamos a buscar la ubicación. ¿Cuál voy a poner aquí? ¿Cuál es en la D y cuál es en la ID? Listen my pronunciation and you tell me in which position they are. ¿Ya? Now, number one, cooked, cooked, in which space? T. Sí. Sí. Here. Cooked. With, with tea at the end. Cooked. Sí. Okay. Number two, exercised, exercised. In the Again. second one? Exercised. Here. In the second one? Exercised. Okay, now listened. Listened. In the third. In the third. Idea, idea, idea. Pay attention, my pronunciation. Listened. 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 Si fuera two. aquí, two. Si fue, number two. In the second one. The yes. Second one. Yes. Porque si, si hubiera dicho, listened. Ah. Listened. 
fuera aquí, porque la, la terminación es como ah, ed, 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 ya, eh, pero decimos yeah. listen to, listen to. Listen to. Yes, with, with the here. Listen. Listen. Now, another one, needed. The third, the, third the, third one. One. the third one. The third one. The third one. Third one. Needed. Needed. Look my mouth. Needed. The third. In the third. In the third. In the third. Here. Because in the first, the, 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 the pronunciation is t, t. But I said you needed. Needed, needed, is here, needed. Yes? Porque yes. la terminación es con ed, needed. Here, needed. Now, next one is chopped, chopped, chopped. Mm -hmm. Bird. Here? The first, first one. The first, first one. The first one. The second one. The first one. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde, Ever? First. First. The first. Yes. The yes. First. First. In first. first. Shopped. Shopped. Porque termina en T. Now. Shopped. Waited. Shopped. Waited. Waited. In the third. The third. In the third. third. Waited. In the third. The third. I did. In the third. Yeah. In the third. Waited. Waited. Wait. Wait. Another. Asked. 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 First. In the first. In the first. Asked. Opened. Asked. Open the second. Open. second one. The second. Open the planted. Planted. The third. The third. In the third. Planted. In the third. Accepted. Accepted. In the third. In the third. Accepted. Accepted. Stopped. Stopped. In the one. In the, the first. first. The first. The first. Stopped. Stopped. Vamos con la siguiente. Closed. Closed. The first. Two. Closed. 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 In the first. In the second. Closed. Closed. In the second. Closed. And arrived. Arrived. In the second. Second. In the second. Arrived. Excellent. Now, please repeat after me. Cooked. 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 Again. Cooked. 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 Shopped. 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 Asked. 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 El final, el final, ustedes como que, como que soplan hacia afuera. Inténtenlo. Ast. Ahí sienten el aire que tiran hacia afuera. Ast. 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 Stopped. 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 Eso, así. Así como de stopped. Yes. Another. Exercised. 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 Listen, listen, listen. Con la de al final, listen. Listen. Open. Open. 
Open the. Open the. Open the. Open the. Close the. Close the. Are wide. Are wide. Are wide. Needed. Needed. Waited. Waited. Planted. Planted. Accepted. Accepted. Yes. Do you have any questions about this exercise? No? No answer. Okay. Second exercise. Last weekend. Check the things you did last weekend. Check the things. Cheque las cosas que usted hizo la semana pasada, el fin de semana pasado. Check the things you did last weekend. Cleaned the house. Studied. Studied English, of course. Studied English. Talk, talked on the phone. Visited my parents. Did the laundry. Enjoyed a delicious food. Cooked a special soup. Practiced English. Practiced English. Planted a tree in my yard. Traveled to, to another department. And then, ask your classmate about his or her, or her weekend. Okay, I need your participation. Todos se van a preguntar. I need two volunteers. Oh, first, Nazario, ask to Juan Villanueva. Are you here? Hi, Juan. Okay, Nazario, ask to Juan Villanueva about her weekend. The question is here. What did you do on weekend? What did you do on weekend? Okay, Nazario, ask to Juan. Hey. Hi, Juan, how are you? Hi, Nazario, how are you? So good. Let me ask you something. Tell what, did you, what did you do on weekend? Well, on weekends, uh, I went to to my parents, to my house parents, and oh, we enjoyed together. Um, I ate fish and rice with them. It was a Wonderful. delicious food, to be honest. Wonderful. And I spent my time with my brothers in the afternoon. Wonderful. That's all. Excellent. Fun. Excellent. What okay. About you? Excellent. My weekend was so boring. I stay in house. Why? All weekend. Because All I weekend? was because I was so tired. But it was it was funny. Yeah, that's but, cool, man. It was funny. Okay. Pueden tomar estos ejemplos también. Okay, excellent. Thanks a lot. Okay. Solo aquí no le escuché a Juancito que dijo, I spend the time with, ¿con quién dijo que pasó su tiempo? With, with his brother. With my brothers. With his ah, brothers. with <laughs> my brothers. Maybe drunk yeah. a cup of coffee, Juan. Yeah, sorry for, <laughs> sorry because I'm on my way to, to, my, to my home right now and I'm driving teacher. <laughs> yes, care. yes, yes, Take yes, care. I saw. Okay, okay. thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot, Juancito. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Okay. My meeting aquí dijo uno. I went to my parents. I went to my parents. Is okay or no el verbo? Yeah, because it's in past. Yes, it's in past. Y este es un verbo irregular porque cambia. El, el verbo en presente es go, go y en pasado went. Después vamos a ver los, los irregulares, los que cambian. Pero aquí está muy bien. I went to my... I went to my parents. ¿Qué dice él? Que, est que estuvo con sus padres. padres. Ok. Now, dijo, I spent, spent o spent. With spent tea at the end. With tea. I spent yeah. the time with my brothers. Dijo que él pasó su tiempo con sus hermanos. Vaya, aquí, si son hermanos, hermanos varones, 
Aquí, se, si son hermanos en general, se dice siblings. Siblings. Miren, siblings. Son hermanos, hermanos en general. Por ejemplo, I have, in my case, I have five siblings. Tengo cinco hermanos. Y aquí incluyen hombres y mujeres. It's not according to the, <coughs> to the sex teacher. I am, yeah, it's, it's in general. And then I spend the time with my siblings. And Nazario dijo, I stayed in house, in my house, all weekend. I stayed, I stayed, is okay or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's, it's okay, past. because it's in past. Dice, yo estuve en mi casa todo el fin de semana. It was funny. It was, estuvo divertido. It was funny. Estuvo divertido. Okay, excellent. Now, Anita and Lillian, I need your participation. Anita, ask to Lillian first these questions. Okay. Uh, hi, Lillian. What do you do on the weekend? On weekend? Hi, Anita. Uh, this weekend, I visit, I visit my parents. And I... I went to my best friend and um, my mom um, cooked a chicken soup and um, only that. Okay, excellent. Okay, okay now, <laughs> now Lilian asked to Anita the same question. Okay, Anita, what did you do on weekend? Uh, okay, in my case, and um, I visited uh, my with my family in the on the in the sea, and uh, um, I cooked a special um, food. Cooked, cooked, um, and I little practice English. <laughs> <laughs> I practiced English. Yes. Excellent. Especially verbs, verbs, Anita. A lot of verbs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay. Now, Luis Chavez and Luis Montano. Uh, uh, are you what, there? What do you do? Do on weekend, Luis. Hi, I um my uh, my family, my uh, friends. Uh, I am special food. Quiere decir que usted con su familia. Que cocinaron o comieron una comida especial? Yes. Yes. And then yes. my family. My family. And I. And I. Ate. Ate. Yes. An special food. Yes. What else? ¿Qué um. más? Did you listen to music? Yes. <laughs> Okay, I listened, I listened to, music. to music. Did you watch TV? Uh, or no. 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 Oh. Okay. Now, Luis Montano asked the same question to Luis Chavez. This uh, question. Luis Chavez, what, uh, what did you do on weekend? I am. Um... I I went to to the game and play my song. I sorry, I son. went to I went to what? I I went to play play play. Ah. Mm -hmm. play. Mm -hmm. Jugar I con... Yes, I played with my play son. With my son, yes. What else? Um 
uh, I I I went I went to the gym. I went to the gym. Yes. And I I I didn't um, with my uh, father. You visited or you spent yes, the time? Visit. Ah, I visited to my father. Yes. Excellent. Now, what about ever? Can you, Luis Montano, quiero ver, ¿qué más me falta de participar? Solo ever, ¿verdad? Ok, ever. What did you do on weekend, ever? I went to the Costa del Sol with my family. Hey, excellent. I went to the Costa del Sol with my family. What else? In the morning, choose the pool. In the morning? Choose the pool. Elegimos la, elegimos la piscina. Ah. Choose the pool. What else? In the afternoon on the beach. In the afternoon, we took a bath, maybe. Tomamos un baño. In the sea, en el mar. Okay? Now, ask me, Ever, ask me the same question. What did, Fisher, what did, did you do on the weekend? Okay, in my weekend, on Saturday, I visited my parents. On Saturday, I visited my parents or my relatives, my relatives, relatives son familiares. And on Sunday, in the morning, I went to the supermarket and I cooked a delicious soup. Yes, ah, and I, I prepared your English class too. It was really interesting. Ah, yeah. I, 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 I need to, to tell you something. I watched TV for one hour. Okay? Wonderful. <laughs> it was really busy. Yes. Um, I was, <laughs> yes, I was really busy. Ok, vaya, miren acá. Hemos utilizado todos los verbos in past. ¿Verdad que es bien bonito el verbo en pasado? A mí me encanta. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tenemos la facilidad de hablar en el pasado y tantas cosas que decir en el pasado con solo aprendernos los verbos. ¿Yes? Aquí miren, state, it was, was, visited, what other verbs? Can you help me? Went. Went. Another. Cooked. 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 Visit. Visited. 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 What else? Cooked again. Cooked again. Yeah. Practiced. 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 What else? Eight. 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 Listen. 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 Played. 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 What else? Went. Went. And others. Bye. Another Aquí ya, ya pusimos, ok, and other ones. Ahí tienen ya lo, a los, los otros. Los otros casi se repiten. ¿Ok? Vaya, entonces, esta es la forma práctica en la cual podemos hablar en el pasado. ¿Está fácil o no? 
con solo conocer el verbo en presente y en pasado, ahí usted tiene ya la oportunidad. You have the opportunity to talk more with some people and talk about your past. Yes? Now, next one. Continue with, with this important topic. Here we have another important exercise. Exercise. Simple past statement, statements, regular verbs. Here, I studied on Sunday. Only Anita dijo que estudiado el fin de semana, ¿verdad? Y nadie estudió la lista, quizás. Solo Anita dijo que estudió. I told you too, teacher. <laughs> ah, yeah. That I discharged all the verbs and I had in my desktop. I okay. told you. Yes, yes, you told me. <laughs> yeah. I studied on Sunday. Yeah. Study. Yo estudié. ¿Cuándo? Oh. Domingo. El domingo. domingo. You watch TV. You watched TV. You watched TV. Watch. Tu viste televisión. Tu viste televisión. She stayed home. Tu estuviste en casa. Ella estuvo en casa. Ella estuvo en casa. We shop for groceries. Nosotros Compró, compramos, compraron comestibles. Compramos. Yeah. Comestibles. Beans, they, rice. They exercised on Monday. They ellos, exercised on Monday. Ellos se ejercitaron. Ellos ejercitaron el ellos, lunes. Yes, el lunes. Oh, yeah. O hicieron ejercicio también. Now, here we have an important, an important part. Let me see. Didn't watch. Vaya. Here we have an important information. When you use did o didn't in negative, the verb always is in present, no in past, because we have did that is the auxiliary. And then, always, when you use did before, the verb is in present. Like this example, can you take, take right, take note? Yeah, I'm talking about this one. Ok, siempre que utilizamos el did al inicio, como lleva el auxiliar o el didn't, el verbo va a ir en presente, no va a ir en pasado. Here we have the first example. I didn't study on Monday. I didn't study on Monday. Yo no estudié el lunes. Second one. You didn't watch a movie. You didn't watch a movie. Watch in present. Yo no vi una película. Didn't. Yo no vi una película. She didn't stay out. She, she didn't stay out. Ella no permaneció fuera. We didn't shop for clothes or for clothes we didn't shop for clothes nosotros no compramos ropa they didn't exercise on sunday they didn't exercise on sunday ellos no se ejercitaron el domingo ya yeah? yep. ok Do you have any questions about these regular verbs? Yeah, teacher, I have one. Okay, tell me. We have to use does only in third person singular. Does. Could you could you give me an example, please? For example, We... when I use did for first person singular. But does I have ah, to use in okay. Yeah, I have to use that's, that's in third person in third yes. person singular. No, let me see. Bye. Okay, here, aquí se lo voy a poner. Here in another presentation. Vaya, do, does, 
Did. This is another topic, but it's important. Okay. We use. We use do for first person, for I, for you, we, and they. In use does for third person. ¿Cuáles son las first person? La, la third person. He, he, she, she, and it. 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 Esto lo vamos a utilizar para, 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 no para el pasado, sino para el presente. Estas dos. Esa es la diferencia. El do y el das se bueno. usan para el presente. Y el did se usa para el pasado. pasado. En este caso... Aquí va separado el do para las primeras personas y el das para las terceras. Pero el did es en general. Y okay. ahí no es que, que el, el did va a ser it solo for, para terceras personas. No. Y es is in general. Right. Only when, when, we, when we talk about past, about the past. It's like for example. Teacher. Yeah. For example. Do you... Do you have um, any question? <laughs> a girlfriend, Nazario? No, no, this year, I don't no. have it. Okay, do you have a girlfriend? It's a question. Yeah. Now, no. does, does ever have, does ever have a, a sister? Vaya, aquí, como estoy hablando de you, Nazario, la pregunta right. es para usted. Yeah. Do you, do you have, porque el you va con el do. Do you have a girlfriend? ¿Ya? Yeah? Ya. Yeah. Entonces, y aquí, como ya Ever es una tercera persona, ya es él, ella o esto, esta, ¿verdad? Entonces, That's, como ya Ever es tercera persona, digo, das Ever, das Ever, puede ser das he o Ever. Puede ser así. Does he have a sister? Pero right. esa pregunta se la puedo hacer si le estoy señalando a alguien para que sepa quién es, ¿verdad? Yeah. Does he have a sister? Pero en este caso, si aquí soy, puedo utilizar el, el sujeto o el nombre. Does he have a sister? You can say, does she have a boyfriend? Yes. It's the same, right? Yes. Does she have a boyfriend? Here, o podemos poner en vez de she, podemos poner a Lilian, for example. Does Lilian have a boyfriend? Yes. Ahí esos son los auxiliares. El do para primer, primeras personas, para el I, you, we, they, y el das únicamente para terceras personas. He, she, or it. Y el did es in general, is in general for both. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes, sure. Por ejemplo, what, what did you do? Es lo que estábamos viendo ahora. What did you do on weekend? Es la pregunta que estábamos haciendo. What did you do on weekend? Ok. ¿Qué hizo? El fin de semana. Pero acá, el do significa hacer, que también es un verbo. Si sí es un auxiliar, que no significa aquí nada, solo está acompañando a la pregunta. Ya aquí, sí significa algo, significa hacer. Porque lleva el did, que es el auxiliar. En este caso, el did es el auxiliar y el do está actuando como un verbo. Ya. Yeah. Aquí está actuando como un verbo. Entonces decimos... What, what did you do on weekend? ¿Qué hizo usted el fin de semana? Si lo leemos textual, omitimos el did porque no tiene ningún significado ahí. Solamente es un auxiliar. Because we need a, to know about the past. Necesitamos saber algo del pasado. 
Yeah? Is it yeah. clear? Or did you have any question? No, oh, this for me is clear. Okay, the rest of the students? Do you have any question? For Do example, if I use teacher, sorry. Yeah. For example, if I use the in the in the last question that that you did, uh, for example, I can use the one third person singular in this question and substitute a you for day, and I can say what did they do on weekend, and it's and it's okay. What right? did they on weekend? Yeah, what did they do on weekend? Yes. What did they do on weekend? Yeah. Yes. It's correct, right? It's, Thank you, teacher. Yes, it's correct. What did okay. they do? Right. ¿Qué hicieron ellos el fin de semana? That's right. It's okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Los demás tienen alguna pregunta referente a esto que, que consultó Elio? Este tema ya lo habían visto, ¿verdad? El dual das before. Yes. ¿O no? We have been in our homework or ah. in the different exercise. Ah, okay. I think that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Quieren que les mande material extra del, del uso del do y del das? Yes. Yes. Please. Yeah. Okay. Se los envío más noche. Thank you. Yes. Al finalizar Thanks, la clase. Okay. You're welcome. Now, continue with with this part let me see this simple past statement with irregular verbs irregular verbs here by aquí sabemos que los verbos van cambiando verdad los verbos irregulares son los que cambian la estructura cambian la escritura cambian la pronunciación yes yeah now here we have the first example. Here, I did in my homework. Alcanzan a ver la presentación o se las pongo más grande? Please, teacher. Okay. Please. Why the slide, please? Here, okay. Right. Yes, right. Thanks. Okay. I did my homework. I did my homework. Aquí el verbo, como es una... una Algo positivo está afirmando, es una afirmativa. Aquí está actuando como un verbo, el did, no como un auxiliar. Dice, I did my homework. What is the meaning? Yo hice mi tarea. tarea. I did the homework. I did the homework. Y el otro dice, I didn't do laundry. Aquí, como es una, una afirmativa, decimos did. Yo hice, porque fue el pasado. Yo hice mi tarea anteriormente. Yo la hice. Y aquí dice, I didn't do laundry. Yo no hice. La ¿Qué? Lavandería. Lavandería, o yo no lavé, ¿verdad? Yo no hice la lavada. I didn't do laundry. Miren, aquí lleva, aquí es una negación, didn't. Entonces, como es una negación, el verbo va a ir en presente, no va a ir en pasado, porque el auxiliar ya lo lleva acá. Es lo que acabamos de ver, que cuando es negativo, lleva el verbo en presente. I didn't do laundry. ¿Yes? Yeah. Bueno, este tema lo vamos a ver mañana, porque necesito que repasen en su lista los verbos irregulares. ¿Yes? Los verbos irregulares. Ahorita vamos con la tarea. Did you do the homework? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, and then I need your. Vaya, aquí vamos a, a ver lo, de, lo del homework. Okay. How many sentences do you did you do? Eh, Nazario, how many sentences sentences did you do? I wrote five in my how notebook many teacher. Sentences did you do? Vaya, miren la miren la pregunta. How many? ¿Cuántas? 
oraciones hizo? Did you do? I wrote okay. five sentences stationed in my notebook. Okay, I wrote five sentences in my notebook. My notebook, yeah. Ok. I, I got it. Él escribió, miren, aquel verbo en, en, en pasado, wrote. Mañana vamos a ver las estructuras. Las estructuras para, para todos los verbos, también para preguntas, igual, que va el sujeto, va el complemento. Ok, mañana lo vemos. Va here. Ok, please tell me your sentences, please. Yeah, uh, the okay. first one. Oh, tell, tell me only, only two. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. The first one is the verb in present is begin. Here. Yeah. And the sentence is the last month. Okay. Let me. Begin. Begin. Last. Yes. Oh. Ah. Let me see. Begin. Right. Be begin. Uh, okay. Begin. Right. Okay. Uh, last the last month I began to study English. I began to study English. I began or began. Can you help me, please? With a, not o. A. I begin. Began. Ah, it's the past. It's the past. Okay. It's the past. Okay. Yeah. I began what? Began to study English. To study English. Okay. Yeah. Another? Uh, by. The first, the second one is, the verb is by. By. Yeah. Okay. On, on weekend. On weekend. I bought. I bought. I bought a pant. A pant. Right. Here. Okay, yeah. now Lillian, give hi, me two. Teacher. Hi, give me two, please. Okay. Okay, um, Lillian. Okay. Ver, uh, two. Today, I went. What is the? Sorry, what is oh. the verb? It's go. Go. Okay. Go. Today. Today I went. I went. To aerobics class. Aerobic class. Yes. The second one. Um, I hate. The verb is. It is it. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. I hate. I ate. It uh, Indian chicken yesterday. Indian chicken soup yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Delicious. Delicious. Yes. <laughs> you will invite for the next Indian one. Indian chicken yesterday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Now another volunteer, Anita. Did you do your homework? Or oh, ever? Luis Chavez? Ah, yes. ever. Ask me. Okay, please. Mm, Tell me. The bird is it. It. Okay. It. The last weekend. At what? Six. Last weekend, eight. Eight. Icaco fruit. Icaco? Fruit. 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 It's okay. Icaco fruit. Uh, two verb is drink. Sorry? Uh, two verb is drink. Ah, drink. drink. Ah, okay. I confuse. Okay, drink. Last weekend, and I said drunk. Last weekend, I drank. Drank what? 
the last weekend I drank many water. Many? Water. 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 Okay. Last weekend I drank many water. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a lot of water. Mucha agua. Now, number two. La primera era de la fruta. Ah, la primera era de la sí. fruta. Ah, entonces, eight. Ok, eight. Ah, las weekend. Weekend. Eight. Ay, eight. Era Icaco, ¿verdad? Sí. Icaco sí. fruit. Ok. Excellent. Now, Luis Montano. Hi. 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 Can you uh, tell me your sentences? Play. What is the verb? Play. Play. Okay. Uh, I play. I play. Play in Syria. Play it. Play it. Uh, I play in weekend. Fin de semana. Eh, no, sería. Un weekend. No, ¿Cuándo sería... jugó? Sábado o domingo. Sunday. Sunday. Entonces, on Sunday, I played. Play. Um, four o'clock. A las cuatro. ¿Qué jugó? Eh. Hola. ¿Qué jugó? Eh. Soccer, basketball, voleibol. Okay. Soccer. Okay. Ah, ok. And then, on Sunday, I played soccer. Yes. Um, with your friend. Yes. With my friends. With my friends. Ok. Um, listen. Listen. Uh, eh, on, on Sunday también. On Sunday. Um, Listen on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Como no sé cómo poner el verbo allí en medio de eso, pero sería como I listening. I, I listened. Listened. Yes, my favorite music. My favorite music. music. And what yes. is your favorite music? Uh, Banda. Banda. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> My favorite music is romantic. I like uh, romantic music. 1890 <laughs> music in yes. English. Okay, yes. Now, by aquí, nadie me faltó, ¿verdad? In me? Ah, okay. Tell me, Anita. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, for that. Yeah, let me see. Okay. I need more space. Okay, for that. Uh -huh, I forgot uh, today I forgot to water the turtles. I forgot what? To water the turtles. A las tortugas. <laughs> water. Ah, dar, darle agua. Uh -huh. Ah, pues I forgot. Se me olvidó. Ajá, se me puede ponerle agua a las tortugas. To, to gay, to gay, o to put, to ah, okay. put some water to my turtles. Ok, another one. Uh, drink. Aquí utilizamos dos estructuras, oye, porque es cuando son dos verbos. Dos verbos juntos, utilizamos el tú para separarlos. Pero esa es otra estructura que de, después la vamos a ver más adelante. ¿Ok? Ok, drink. Um, ah, Jessup. aquí. Sorry. Pongámosle, cambiémosle aquí. Vamos a hacerlo así como para que le sea más fácil. I, I didn't, vamos a ponerle. I didn't. Uy. I didn't put, así lo vamos a poner. I didn't put some water to my turtles. Yo no le puse agua a las tortugas, a mis tortugas. Ok. Ok. Uh, okay. Verb. Eh, drink. Drink. 
Uh, yesterday I had a lemonade. Limo, lemonade. I had. Uh -huh. Lemonade. I drank, drank a lemonade. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. I drank. Lemonade. Lemonade. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, the time is over. Ya, ya, ya está, es la hora de finalizar la clase. Ok, Vaya, acá ya, aquí podemos ver todos los ejercicios que ustedes ya hicieron eh, con los verbos. Eh, for tomorrow, I need to study el verb y irregular verbs, please. Repasen todos los verbos irregulares porque con eso vamos a trabajar mañana. Yes. Okay. okay, thanks teacher. for coming okay, teacher. and have thank a nice you. night and take nice, care. Nice. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay. I'm okay. 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 Bye. 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 See you tomorrow.